Salvete omnes, nomen mihi est canicus. Thank you for joining me for this episode of the DDO Code Experiment. I've come back to my main character, Caniculus. It's been a little while since I've uh, played with this account on Argo. And the plan right now is to set up a dual box and go do Chanticore. So I'm going to make a friend. And by a friend, I mean me. And that character is already waiting at the the steam tunnels. So head over there. Hmm. Looks like I need to pick up a, there we go. No, oh goodness, I gotta fix all this, all right. What is this, Ram Smite, okay. Just energy, electricity. Nope. Put it there. Don't need that anymore. Okay. Sorry, probably could have spared you all that, but it's part of playing the game, getting this stuff set up. All right, level seven. And lately I have been choosing favored soul um, hirelings and uh, my experience has made me want to evaluate uh, these hirelings in a more systematic way because they, they genuinely do behave differently and some of them are more effective than others so I think that might be something worth doing at some point in the future. You can let me know in the comments if you think that's worth it. Okay. So what have I done? Have I done the Sacred Helm? Okay, I have done Sacred Helm. haven't done those. All right, so let's get down to the entrance to the tunnels and then I'll get the dual box in there later. Where's my bow? Do I lose a bow? No, there's a bow. Okay, it's there, just not, all right. tried to pause or I tried to mute there. I hope that worked. Okay. So I'm going to pause the recording here while I get the dual box into the quest. And, uh, so, I mean, you won't 
really notice, but I'll be back in an instant. What? Wait, what? Okay, something weird happened with my second monitor. Um, I think I might be having a power issue with it. Um, anyway, so there's my dual box character. I won't need for a while, if at all, in here actually. But I'll give him some XP. Printing directional marking on the wall points you to the crate below. Bale's markings issued a warning. Cobalt's ahead. So I'm super overpowered for this, but I enjoy I enjoy the quest. And I'll probably run it on um, normal hard and elite shaman. So I'm I'm sure I've said this multiple times, but it is truly amazing at the early levels how much there is to do like for a first life character like there's so many quests i haven't done and i i could i could easily move on to level seven quests and just skip over i mean look look i haven't done anything over level four nothing and I'm level seven already. Like I could, I could skip all this level five stuff. I could skip all this level six stuff, and jump straight to level seven. I mean, I could probably handle level eight on, on uh, normal. Now I am going to be losing XP for this, right? So, I'm oh goodness, I'm losing fifty percent XP. Um, but I'm also going to do this quest three times, so. And frankly, getting experience points for me right now is not the only concern. I also want to uh, get favor. I want to see, you know, what are the limits of playing free to play? Um, I do want to get to level 20 or level 30. Um, I mean, I, I want to reincarnate and this must be the blockade Dale mentioned. set up, you know, a new new build and hopefully have um, new options. Um, I mean, I've already got new free options because they've made so much free. I may not need I may not need that dual box character at all. That's all right. So I don't feel like fighting these spiders. There we go. So you can tell this quest was made before um, Featherfall was so ubiquitous. A chill passes through your body as you pick up I always go left. I don't know if that's the right move. Let me know in the comments if that's like a good idea. Ah, see, this is where I can use my uh, dual box character for this chest. So I'm going to make sure I'm safe. And then we're going to pause and 
actually, I'm going to do this so that it's not quite as jarring when I, but when I turn around, the dual box guy will be there. Okay. Oh, wait, I'm getting attacked by somebody. Not sure where that ghoul came from, but hey, look at there. All right, so let's get this open. Failure. There we go. Search for the trap. There we go. Trap disabled. Get an expeditious retreat going. Don't know why I forgot to do that. Not much, but it's something. Okay, I'll have something else to open here in a second. All right. Oh, whoa. Uh, it's not very far away, so I'm just going to get this guy over there and open that. There we go. Nope, not facing the door. What's that? Failure. Failed on an 8. Failed on a 13. So I have um, human action boost for skills. 13 still fails. Well, of course a one's gonna fail, come on. Do better. There we go, 16 was accepts. Total of 32. Uh, oh. So I didn't bring this guy in here to do all the fighting, but I forgot they were all there. Back out of that and send in the main character. So my uh, dual box character in question is a um, level one rogue and then a level four levels of ranger. And I've been able to max out the thieving skills. But primarily a bow user. I enjoy playing with a bow. Um Oh, it's going to lock me in. I enjoy playing with a bow. Uh, I've been leveling that character up um, similarly to the um, the bow rogue that I made for um, Pig Saki Deuce. Um, but I, I have noticed uh, Strimtom complains a lot about the desync where you shoot a you shoot your bow and nothing happens. Uh, I have noticed that quite a bit, and it is genuinely annoying. Okay. It's troglodytes, troglodytes, troglodytes. Okay. Any more around here? Yeah. Ooh, rubble.
to get my OBS window where I could see it. Okay, so trap. Um, I'm going to get him a little closer before I restart, so just a second. Okay, almost there. One frustrating thing about um, dual boxing like this is uh, short-term buffs like five minutes of expeditious retreat run out a little too often. Okay. I can't remember if that's it, but we'll go with it. Oh, careful. Oh, okay. This is such a weird quest. You think you're in one spot, and then now you're now you're in all these mushroom caves with spiders, and there's a whole village down here. My expeditious retreat ran out. Okay. All right, so we finished with that part. Now we go down again. And look, hobgoblins. All right, so um, by the time this comes out, tabaxi should be a thing. So I'm recording this in late April of 2022, in case you were wondering. And uh, so I've already seen the preview for Tabaxi. And as of the time of this recording, the plan is for Tabaxi to get, uh, well, at least Tabaxi um, Iconics to get a... Um, A spring attack in their enhancement tree uh, that is buffed by your jump skill, which is cool. Um, but anything that makes spring attack more awesome is cool by me. I'm enjoying it. Okay, I'll leave you here and say gratias wobis ago. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time for whatever quest this is. Uh, Caverns of Shah. We got Shah's helm a little while ago. Um, but I'll see you next time for this quest, and we'll finish up uh, the Seal of Chanticore on normal. Si waletis, ego waleo, walete. <laughs>